Hi Libra, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your three card reading for the week of March 7th through the 14th, 2021. I hope you're well. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30. All the information is below. I'm feeling very calm. So I think that's part of the message for you is remain calm. I'm remaining calm even though my table is squeaking and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that helps you or not. Okay. One, two. Oops, three. One, two, three. Okay. The six of wands. The two of swords. That's right now. The two of swords, this is the new moon. I mean, it's not, but whenever the moon is changing and a moon shows up in the card, I feel like, oh, it's right now. And then the sun. Okay. This is, um, you know, it's really interesting because uh, the way I read the three cards is I, I kind of put them together as a story. Some people read them in a different way. Some people would read a three card reading as say the past, the present and the future, or this is where you're at now, this is your obstacle, and this is your um, outcome. And I'm just getting a call. I mean, I really, I usually read the biggest card as the most important, right? And this is a great card. This is a great, one of the best in the whole deck. But this is um, the one that's really calling me here. This is the one that's really calling me here. So I'm gonna start with this one. So it's the two, two is about choice. Two is about choice. It's about duality, but it's more about choice than anything. And, um, this kind of relates to um, you in that, you know, the justice card is you. And a lot of times uh, you'll see the justice or there'll be other depictions of justice as blind, right? Not, not the, not the uh, Rider way. She's not blind in that, she's not blindfolded. But this is interesting because here she is blind and um, it's almost as if I feel like um, even though it's your nature, your nature is really to be um, very um, oriented toward the mind. You're ruled by air. So the air signs are generally, um, they're mental. Not crazy. <laughs> but that's how they approach the world. And I feel like it doesn't, that's not the energy of the week. I feel like you need to do something else. And what I think you need to do is Trust that you're going to persevere. Because this is about perseverance. He's, this is victory. And this is instinct, passion. So it's like, don't over-intellectualize it, is what I'm trying to say. Don't over-intellectualize it. You know, 
if, if you're riding on the horse of victory, if it feels instinctively good, it feels like we're moving forward, it feels like we're gonna win the war, it feels like, then go with that feeling. Don't try to overanalyze it. Stop at the overanalyzing. Because you're not gonna see things clearly anyway. And this is like, sometimes this is seen at like the crossroads, it's like a difficult decision. And sometimes the decision is no decision. Sometimes it, like the decision is like, well, instead of going into this mental, or oh, what if, what if, if that, or da, 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 and, and projecting into the future, where, where it's like, for me, I know personally, like when I make a plan in my head, you know, oh, it's gonna be this way and it's gonna be that way and it's gonna be this way. It never really works out anyway. You know, <laughs> maybe parts and pieces of it or maybe hints of it, but it never really works out exactly the way I think it's gonna work out anyway, ever, whether it's good or bad or in between. It's, there's always a little something like surprising. I feel if you like trust your excitement and trust your like playfulness, there's gonna be nurturing. There's gonna be nurturing, there's gonna be abundance, there's gonna be clarity. So I think it's almost as if for the most part, stop overanalyzing, like put that away for a week. You know, don't worry, it'll be there. Just like put it away. You know how um, like at certain times of year you pack up certain things. Like, like I live in New York, so the weather changes. You know, we have a real winter, we have a real summer. So like, I don't have my tank tops out yet because I mean, not that I'm a big tank top wearer, but you know, I don't have my linen out yet because you know, it's 70 degrees or thereabouts now, but I, I know in two or three days, it's gonna be like 26 at night. So I didn't put away my winter clothes and I didn't pull out my summer clothes. Um, and, you know, maybe it's time to put something away for a little bit, just for a little bit until you get clear and let it unfold, let it unfold and then see how you feel, see how you feel. And then think about it. And then, you know, do your whole, you know, thing that you do. But first I want you to like, I think you should just be, see how it feels um, to be abundant. See what, see what it feels like to be nourished and nurtured and uh, feel that. And then I think you're gonna get clear. That's what I think. It's a very interesting little reading. Very interesting little reading. It's a nice reading actually. You know, it's like, take a vacation. Take a vacation from your mind for a little bit. Just for uh, just a week. Take a vacation because you, you can just drive yourself crazy and you're not gonna be able to see it clearly anyway. So see what it feels like to be the victor, right? And see what it feels like to be in the in the nurturing and the the radiance of the sun, right? Because this also it's about clarity, but this is a, a part of deep nurturing. You know, the sun, which sits in the middle of the solar system, bathes, you know, like it bathes Earth with growth. So, there you go. It's like, it's a little bit of a trusting week. It'd be fun. Enjoy yourself. You know, little kids trust. Like, oh, I trust. Yeah, do that. Do that. That's what I'm feeling. All right. Blessings.